The Crooked Eyebrow is a story about an eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> an, an eyebrow belonging to a fictional dictator. And the eyebrow believes that it's because of itself, I, I, I give the eyebrow agenda to him. It's because of him that the dictator is able to have all its charisma, all its power, and the entire book is basically told from the perspective of this one right eyebrow. <laughs> basically telling the reflection of the dictator in the mirror, saying that I made you what you are, I'm everything that you are, you know, it's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of about a play on the notion of vanity, on pride, and arrogance, and all that. And also, there's the right eyebrow, and there's also the wife, the left eyebrow. Now, the left eyebrow, the wife, is very silent throughout the entire book. And I want to make that uh, meaningful in a way, and also slightly tragic. And I have hope out the thanks uh, for asking me to write a few more lines of poems to basically give more dimension to this love story between the right and the left eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, because basically the right eyebrow is this sexist and young thing <coughs> who believes that, you know, the wife is completely supporting the drugs, this whole narrative of this dictator. So, because it's such a difficult book to read from, every poem leads to the next poem, like chapters in the novel. So it's best to really read it once through in that way. The poems can stand on its own in a way, but it's best to see it as one long sustained narrative. Uh, so it's hard to read it. That's why I've gotten uh, my new friend, Julian Nancy, to help me to add another dimension um, using her wonderful voice as well as, uh, you know, to add a, a more political, more melancholy, more reflective dimension to it as well. First part is uh, based on the last poem of the book. It's a short prologue, it's a very short section in which the, the eyebrow is it's about it's talking to the dictator in a way and it's coming to the end of the dictator's life. So it's a very surreal, very short, effective moment. And then after that, we will have uh, more poems in which the, the eyebrow will tell you more about his side of the story. And throughout the reading, uh, Puja will be uh, interweaving a song by, songs by Bob Dylan to add that extra dimension to it. As I said, it's, it helps to make this reading more, how can I say it? Enlightening in a way because it's really hard, as I said before, to read straightforwardly from, from the book. Every poem is very rare to read. So we shall start with the poem. Uh, so the first bit that we're doing is with a song called The Times We Are Changing. And I think I paired it with Bob Dylan because when I read the book, I thought it was really political. And uh, I didn't quite, I struggled, but it was really cool creatively to think of what I could pair with it. And, uh, oh, so there's a funny thing. Uh, uh, actually, the original idea was for Pooja to be reading it with me. But she said, you need a, really, a, a man to read this. Yeah. And I said, I look at myself like, really a man to read this. But can you what kind of man would be? Someone who is very pompous you know, and every tambu or something. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll do my best.